<clears throat> last year, my friend Mara and I read together, back and forth, poems that we had, a conversation, poems that we had written to, about each other, to each other. And um, so this is a, a longtime friend that grew up here. And is now and, living in Richmond. Right. I did run out, but I had more Floyd stuff, but I can't find it. But this sort of fits because What's, it's Mara. Oh, it's Mara, and, great. Yeah, there is a mountain in it. When Mara leaves me poems on Facebook, she writes only four and five star poems that give me goosebumps and make me laugh out loud. She takes me places that are new but feel familiar. Sometimes my eyes fill with salty water and I yearn for my hometown peninsula while she flits through fiddleheads on the sides of mountains and washes her feet in creeks with first names. I want to offer her a towel and build her a fire, but hers already roars. We've burned them in the dark and picked four-leaf clovers. In meteor showers, Mara wears red, but now she wears blue and nourishes grass roots. She punctuates her causes, keeps sharpies in her pockets. Her poems are contagious. She passes them like notes. We keep them going because we gave up talking. Now we let them swirl like triple goddess spirals. We go out on limbs to hang them. They buzz back and forth like dragonflies in summer, ready to stitch some good sense to sew torn hearts together. Thank you.